Hey, what's going on, my friends? You know, I was just, um, well, well let, me, let me start from the, from the beginning. Um, like in the winter, I, I, I bought a, uh, a, a short block um, from Keith Craft. Um, small block Ford, Windsor base motor, stroker, 421 cubic inches. Um, you know, 4440 crank, all the hard crank and rods, um, H beam rods, cap, you know, forged pistons. You know, the big horsepower motor. You know, probably making 550, 600 horse the way it is right now in the truck. And so I, I put the truck and motor in the truck, and I got it running. Just got a roller cam and stuff, and it's just, it's just absolutely kick ass. And um, when I went out to try to buy valve covers for it. That image you see right there, that's, you know, that's like the standard, like the standard small block Ford, you know, 302 Windsor base uh, valve covers, you know, Cobra covers or whatever, you know, um, early Mustang, or I should say second generation Mustang valve covers kind of thing, you know, it's just, you know, they got some manufactured aluminum valve covers, they just kind of look like crap. And um, that's what I, I actually ended up buying was those fabricated valve covers and, and they look okay they look a lot better than these things right here but they just don't cut it you know and all the guys are spending so much money on stroker motors smoker uh, stroker ford motors right now hot rods and race cars and all kinds of stuff and there's just no suitable valve covers available for for these engines and um and so i said well i'm gonna do something about it and I did this little thing right here just to kind of show, you know, the basic old stock valve cover as it goes on a small block head. And I wanted something different. So what I did is I started out with this cast aluminum adapter. It might You might even be able to make it out of a glass filled polymer, a high temp polymer, uh, black, it, is, it goes on the head, it's a standard small block head, you know, 289, 302, 351 Windsor, all of those, they're all the same, same head, so uh, they get bolted on here with, with you know, the no normal five uh, valve bolt configuration on the interior here and then on the exterior here uh, we put studs you know nice hardened studs and on top of that on top of that you put the new Put the new uh, Edelbrock series, Edelbrock Pro series heads or valve covers on it. Now what I did is I, you know, I went to Roush Racing. And I, I I'm kind of an NASCAR fan and stuff, and, and they've they've had the the D3 motor. I think they're still using the D3 motor in the Nationwide series right now. And th this valve cover is kind of a mixture between the the D3 head and um, they call them valve caps. They don't even call them valve covers. They call them valve caps. And, um, or head caps or something like that. Anyway, so I designed this right here to make it, you know, kind of in between a D3 and a FR9 motor. And to me, if I had the money to have these cast and, um, and then, uh, anodized black and then laser engraved then this is what I would make this is this is a product that I would offer you know if I had facilities in the company to do so but I don't so you know wait you're not going to wait around for anybody else to do it I figured you know maybe I can do a design and 
send it to somebody who can do it. And my idea is simply to uh, design these adapters and the valve caps and an induction system also Edelbrock Pro Series fill injection black anodized laser engraved I know they don't sell anything like that I don't think anybody sells anything like this but um, I just thought what a freaking really cool idea would be to have something like this because really you know the Ford guys are getting the short end of the stick because you got all these companies and they got all that really cool Chevy stuff you know the small block Chevys and the you know, third gen Chevy small block stuff, and just a bunch of cool stuff, and they got nothing for Fords, and so the Ford guys are sitting here with stuff that's 30 years old. Well, older, 40 years old. And uh, it's just a shame, man. And nobody's uh, utilizing, you know, anybody, nobody's coming up with some new age stuff to help the hot rod guys, or the street racer guys, or the, you know, the uh, the, the tour guys or whatever, and uh, so I just wanted to put this out on my web, on my page. Hope somebody will take a look at it and say, "Hey, man, this might this might be good." Because I'll tell you what, the two vehicles I have with Windsor Motors, I'd be the first guy to buy two sets. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I'd throw this out there. I'm gonna uh, go find a. Uh, I think Vic Edelbrock's got a couple of websites, or a couple of, yeah, I think he has a channel on YouTube. Maybe I can excite somebody's attention. You know, I'm not looking for anything out of it. I just, you know, I just, I just want to be a little bit more proactive in, in helping the Ford guys get some, some kind of cool shit to put on their motors. And there's nothing out there. So anyway, I'm a mechanical engineer for like 20 years working for major companies and stuff, and I'm retired now, and I just thought I'd spend some time doing something that, you know, that resonated real well with me and uh, resonates with a lot of my friends, and I'm sure a lot of people would also be excited about it, interested about it, you know, buying new different products. So uh, that's that's my next step. I'm going to try to find somebody who's going to be interested in this, in this. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see if we get any updates. See you later.